Hey, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. All oh, right, okay, so I sort of thought of something to talk about this time, which I know is really unusual for me at the moment. Um, it's just this kind of random thought that's been um, that's been in my head a little bit recently. Um, so some of you might be aware there was a time when I was releasing um, me reading some of the chapters from Echo. Um, obviously that was the previous version of Echo. Echo has been updated uh, again since and I didn't get all the way through it unfortunately. Um, this was around the time uh, where my, the inflammation in my ribs was diagnosed but wasn't being treated properly um, so I did have to stop doing it because I just got to, got to the point I just was not well enough uh, to keep it up, um, partly because the editing was very fiddly um, and it took a long time to do, partly because I'm not very good at reading things out loud, um, just in general, normally, anyway. Um, and I'm not a very good sight reader. Uh, I know people who are very good at sight reading and it's it's a skill, it is definitely a skill, um, but I am not one of those who sort of possess the, the sight reading skill, um, unfortunately. I mean, I wish I did, um, but I don't really, I'm not a very good sight reader. <laughs> I do struggle quite a bit with the sight reading. Um, so it, it just got to a point where because I was not very good at sight reading, because I was struggling to do the reading itself because of how bad my ribs were at the time um, and various other reasons uh, sort of all related to that, um, I, I, I had to sort of shelve it. Um, and then um, I, I was sort of like, I did consider sort of restarting it again. Um, but that was before I did the re-edit for releasing it onto KDP um, and after that point I was kind of like well some of the chapters have changed quite a bit um, how the chapters have organized well not how the chapters are organized the chapters are still in the same order um, but some of them are sort of like like the, the number of chapters have condensed because I made the chapters longer by reducing the number of chapters <laughs> <laughs> um, and stuff like that so it was kind of like I, I did sort of get to a point where I was like I can't really continue um, reading Echo because Echo has changed um, to a point where I wouldn't necessarily be able to figure out uh, where I would need to read it from and because some of these earlier details have changed some of these later details uh, might not make as much sense if I sort of continue reading it. Um, I could continue reading that version of it, um, but I, yeah, no, I, I just sort of, it sort of made sense to sort of go, okay, let's just leave it um, unfinished. It's not like anybody has really watched any of those videos anyway. Um, but I have been sort of thinking a lot about maybe doing, and this was one of the things I was sort of like thinking about at the time for restarting it, um, rather than just recording my voice and sort of having a static image, which was part of the reason why the editing was so fiddly because of like all the things that I sort of had to do things, to maybe do the readings a bit more like my vlogs. Um, and then there's sort of one or two ways I can sort of go about doing it. I can either do it leaving in all the mistakes <laughs> um, and all the sort of the restarts and, and everything like that that I would you know, need to do. Um, although editing video is, is easier than editing audio in Windows Movie Maker. So it would probably be easier for me to edit the videos and edit the mistakes out of the videos. Um, and, and sort of do a, an edited reading uh, video wise. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about maybe doing that and maybe uh, because I'm sort of reaching a point with these vlogs where 
I don't always know what I want to talk about every single week. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I don't vlog every single week, maybe uh, every other week or every few weeks um, I read from one of my books instead. But then how do I go about doing that? Do I just read an extract for X amount of time? Um, do I just read a chapter? Do I stick with one book and like uh, do it as like a series um, across like a few months or, or however I sort of want to want to do it? Um, because the chapters are longer. <laughs> Certainly for the colours I see, you're talking like a half hour, 40 minute reading for, for a chat for a single chapter. Um, um, and that's not counting having to edit out mistakes and stuff like that. So um, at this moment in time, I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about doing that. But I think maybe replacing some of my vlogs with uh, with readings instead would at least sort of keep um, would keep it sort of a little bit more interesting. And maybe if I sort of did it in sort of like a vlog. Uh, vlog kind of way where I don't know maybe I choose an extract to read and then I talk about the extract um, and sort of make it you know an, an alternative kind of vlog if I can't think of anything I want to talk about that particular week I grab a, I grab one of the books <laughs> find an extract read the extract and then um, do the vlog sort of based on whatever extract that I've read or just do the reading or I don't know um, I certainly have like some thoughts about what I want to do uh, it's just a case of at like, the moment of I'm not entirely sure which direction I kind of want to really sort of take it in and whether or not people would actually be interested in that um, so if I did it as like part of the vlog series I think I would want to sort of I think I feel it would work better as uh, an alternative to the vlogs on certain weeks rather than putting it as part of the vlog thing because the vlogs are like so far on. Um, it would be better for it to be sort of like its own kind of thing, but maybe doing it as sort of a, a vlog um, format where I, I read the extract and then talk about the extract or just do the reading for however long. And as I said before, um, because of the connection that I'm using, it does take a long time to upload videos to YouTube. So ideally, I would want these videos to be about 20 minutes. So, I, you know, if I did the extract plus talking about it, then I would want like a 10 minute extract and then, a, you know, about 10 minutes of talking about it. Or if I just did an extract, I'd be wanting to read an extract that was about 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, you can see why I've sort of had lots of thoughts about it, but I'm not entirely sure what direction to take. Um, until I decide, obviously, vlogs will continue as, as they have been. It will be a weekly vlog um, every week <laughs> until I, I figure out what I want to do. Um, but if I do decide to do this reading thing, then it, it will either be every other week um, or every three to four weeks um depending i mean i think every other week would at least then allow me more of a chance to sort of make more decisions about what i'm going to to vlog about um it will allow for more things to kind of happen um for me to sort of talk about as well um so i've been doing the vlog thing for a very long time and Sometimes I'm just sort of rambling more than I am anything else and sometimes I'll get into like a real proper flow with it. Um, I think my blog from last week probably demonstrates this the best of any that I've done recently where I've just been very kind of, I have no idea what I want to talk about, I have no focus on this one, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit tired and you know I, I, wish, I, <laughs> I wish I could just think of something to talk about. Um, but unfortunately, I like my brain was just sort of like, no, not not really with it. Um, so giving myself something else that I can do um, instead of the vlog or uh, 
a different sort of way of, of blogging, like a blog reading or something like that. And yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of decisions I think that I want to make um, for how I want to sort of uh, keep going from here and, and take things for, forward from here. Um, I do think the reading idea is quite interesting. Um, whether I do it as just reading a 20 minute extract, um, whether I do it as reading a 10 minute extract and then talking about it for 10 minutes. I mean, I could do both. I could alternate and sort of do both. I think the one thing I'm sort of sure that I, I don't really want to do is a full book reading um, <laughs> because those are hard. Um, I mean, even if like like doing it like chapter, um, however many weeks, it, it's, it's hard work. You have to sort of like remember all the voices that you're doing and I'm not very good at doing that. Um, that was the other thing that I kind of struggled with, with doing the, the Isla Reads on Echo. Um, is I did struggle with remembering what voices that I was giving the characters, um, as well as sort of like stumbling over things and, and finding like the recording process quite difficult. So I think I would rather do random extracts um, from the books rather than just sort of do like straight readings um, and, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I think the direction I would want to take it in would be doing an extract, um, either just a 20 minute reading or a 10 minute reading plus talking about it. Um, as I said, I think now that I've talked like discussing it here, um, the idea of sort of doing both and sort of like alternating between which ones I'm doing and just maybe deciding on which one that I want to or how I want to sort of do it um, and kind of like the like just beforehand and stuff like that so it'd be yeah I, I, I think that's one way of, of taking it forward but as I said there are a lot of things that I need to sort of decide with it and, and sort of figure out with with it um, right now um, but the only thing I'm sort of fairly certain of is that I need to do something to shake up the, uh, the blog format <laughs> as it is um, because I'm getting to the point where uh, a lot of the time I'm sort of struggling to come up with a topic to uh, to talk about <laughs> and to keep it interesting. Um, I mean, that, that's kind of a problem when you've been doing like uh, the, the kinds of vlogs that I've been doing for the last few years, um, for the last like four or few years, you, you sort of reach a point, I guess, where you kind of need to shake things up a little. And this is not the first time that I've shaken things up a little. Um, so it's just, it feels like I'm at the point where I, I want to sort of shake things up a little again and doing something that will be a little bit different um, and be a little bit more defined and maybe not making like a strict kind of, okay, I'm definitely going to do like every other week or anything like that. Just like, okay, I can't think of anything else that I want to talk about. Maybe I will do a book reading this week instead. Um, yeah, uh, that's kind of my thoughts on it at the moment. It's just, uh, I've, I've sort of reached a point where I want to sort of try something new. And these are the thoughts that I'm having, whether anything will come of them. Um, it's just like, like I said, it's just very much kind of where I'm at with it at the moment. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I hope you found this little discussion discussion um, kind of interesting. Um, I hope the idea is something that kind of interests people. Um, it would be pretty cool if you know it is something that could get a bit more interest in my writing because after all, the whole point of me starting this channel to begin with is to get people more interested in me as a writer. So. It would be, you know, pretty good um, from my point of view if, you know, I could do something that could drive people's interest, either not necessarily in the channel in general, but in my writing. So trying something new that is very writing focused and very focused on um, the works that I'm producing, both the books that I've got out there and maybe even like extracts from things that are going to be released or things that I'm working on. Um, it would be, you know, 
a good way of getting people interested in my work, which is ultimately what I want to be doing. Um, but at the moment, it's just all ideas. So <laughs> I hope you found my ideas kind of interesting um, and intriguing and we'll see what happens with them. So, um, yeah, I hope you're looking forward to whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!